Welcome back, Seth Bling here. This video is for the nerds, and I don't mean the normal nerds, I mean the nerd nerds. What we're looking at is the Wikipedia page for the Mandelbrot set. Mandelbrot set is a type of fractal, and fractals are patterns that are self-repeating and you can go infinitely detailed and they'll still have they'll still have the same patterns. So this is the Mandelbrot set, and if we look in my Minecraft world, we've got the same thing. So this is the Mandel Mandelbrot set brought to Minecraft. I used an MC Edit filter to do it, and it's <laughs> not very high resolution because obviously it's Minecraft, but I think it's kind of cool that if you want to learn about how you might program a fractal, how to render a fractal or whatever, you can download the filter for yourself and uh, and check out how the code actually produces this type of pattern in the ground. Because I didn't actually know how to do this before I looked it up. I thought it was kind of cool. But that's child's play. Here's the Wikipedia page for the Mandelbulb. Mandelbulb is a three-dimensional fractal. It's sort of like the Mandelbrot set, but in three dimensions. And you can see a static image here, but if we go to my Minecraft world, we can see I have recreated it, and rather than just seeing one point of view, you can see whatever point of view you want. Which is really cool because it's pretty hard to visualize a 3D fractal. Here's what it looks like from the inside. Kind of cool little bulb structures everywhere. You can go through the little holes in here. And, okay. It's really cool to actually be able to explore this and it, it's something, if you were trying to study the Mandelbulb, it'd be much harder to, to, to realize anything about the structure without having some sort of 3D visualization software like this. And there exists certain specialized 3D visualization software for the Mandelbulb, but it's pretty cool to be able to do this in Minecraft. You can actually use this as a tool for some real, some real learning, and this is some pretty advanced stuff. And again, you can download the code from the video description and check out how it's built and it creates some pretty cool stuff. So I thought this was really cool. Some people have noticed this structure in the background of some of my videos and they wanted me to do a video about it. So this is that video. I, I hope it was everything you hoped and dreamed for. But I, I mean I'm, I'm pretty nerdy. <laughs> I'm one of those nerd nerds and I think this sort of stuff is really cool. So hopefully some of you do too. And you can download the filters that created the Mandelbulb and the Mandelbrot set. Both of those are in the video description. I also have the worlds up for download if you want to check those out and explore them for yourself. That's about it. Thanks for watching.